Fire Motorsports and Rick Ware Racing are making an announcement. Plus, we know where Harrison Burton is headed in 2025. Welcome back to Break Hard. I'm Matt. Play the breaking news sound because we have some early morning breaking news to talk about. Fire Motorsports and Rick Ware Racing have a press conference scheduled for 1.30 p.m. on Friday at Bristol Motor Speedway regarding the respective driver lineups. It is expected that they will announce that Justin Haley will officially take over the number seven car in 2025 at Spire Motorsports, finally ending speculation around that seat. It is also expected that they will announce that Corey LaJoy and Justin Haley will swap rides for the remainder of the 2024 season after this weekend's race at Bristol. That will allow Justin Haley to go over to the seven car at Spire, get reacclimated with his new old team, at least this iteration of Spire. He, of course, did get them their first cup win in 2019. For Corey LaJoy, his name has been linked heavily to Rick Ware Racing in recent weeks for that number 51 car. It will allow him to get acclimated with his team as they head into the 2025 season as well. What is this? 2003 Steve Park and Jeff Green swapping rides at DEI and RCR. It's something that doesn't happen very often, at least a midseason seat swap. Uh, not where we see both drivers go just literally swap seats. We, of course, have seen Jeremy Mayfield uh, go and join Evernham in the middle of the season. We saw Kurt Busch go from Phoenix Racing over to Furniture Row Racing. But typically, we don't see too many of these driver swaps happen very often. So it is a bit of a rarity. But that is what is expected to be announced this afternoon at Bristol Motor Speedway. Justin Haley has always been the guy for Spire since they announced that Corey LaJoy would not be returning. There, of course, was a ton of speculation uh, whether or not Haley would end up in the 48 car at Hendrick Motorsports and Alex Bowman would get moved down to the seven car at Spire. That, of course, seemed to be a bit contingent on how Bowman performed in the playoffs. So far, performed exceptionally well. Expect Justin Haley in that seven car next season. And for Corey LaJoy, obviously his days at Spire were numbered, right? When they announced at the summer break that he would not be returning in 2025, uh, he's just kind of felt like, you know, a lame duck coach in a sense or a lame duck player where you're like in a contract year, you know, you're not coming back. Uh, so you're just kind of sitting around there. He has one top five finish this year, three top tens, finally ended his 200 plus race streak of not recording a top 10 on a non-drafting track back of the Southern 500 a few weeks ago. Meanwhile, he's been outperformed by his rookie teammate in Carson Hostovar, who has one top five and five top tens this year, including four on non-drafting tracks, plus another one on a road course. So it just felt like Corey LaJoy just never really jumped up to where he needed to be in terms of competitiveness, especially with the resources that Spire has currently. Obviously, that seven car will have Rodney Childers next year as the crew chief. Justin Haley joins a really stout team uh, with a really good crew chief and a lot of game bridge money behind that organization with a strong Hendrick Alliance as well. So fully expect them to perform better this year. Justin Haley this year only has two top 10 finishes and he sits 32nd in points currently with Rick Ware Racing but he has had that number 51 car in the conversation more than any other driver at Rickware Racing, or, you know, at least for the right reasons, I guess we can say, say that. So for Haley, moving over to the seven car makes a lot of sense. It is a more well-funded ride. It has a stronger technical alliance than what he had maybe at RFK. And I know he went over to Spire because of his connection with Brad Keselowski, their alliance with RFK and all of that. But when the seven car opens up with Rodney Childers and what Spire is doing over there, it's a smart move for him to want to take that seat. So that's what is expected to be announced today at 1.30 at Bristol Motor Speedway. And before we move on, remember that there is now a Break Hard blog. Link is in the description below. Trying to post a, you know, a weekend preview as well as a recap and probably something during the week. And also remember, head over to drivensunglasses.com today. Use code BREAKHARD at checkout for 20% off plus free shipping. Also today on Friday morning, AM Racing announced that they have signed Harrison Burton to their number 15 NASCAR Xfinity Series car for the 2025 season. So now we know know where the summer Daytona winner in the Cup Series will be headed next season. Of course, Harrison Burton uh, found out earlier this year that he would not be returning to the Wood Brothers, which made a lot of sense because up until his win at Daytona, he had really not done much. And don't get anything wrong. Winning at Daytona is phenomenal, but that didn't do enough to really change the, you know, the direction of where he was headed. He was not going to get a Cup ride unless maybe he wanted to buy a seat at Rick Ware Racing, but it never felt like that was um, in the cards for him there. Going over to AM Racing does make sense. He, of course, remains affiliated with Ford. KHI Management gets him in there. He is funded 
through his decks imaging assuming that they're going with him we'll have to wait and see about that am racing has a technical alliance with the haas factory team who of course has won races this year as stuart haas racing but they will continue on next year just under a different name he'll have essentially sheldon creed and sam mayer as corporate teammates uh over there it should be a better performing car than they had this year with haley deegan wallace allen Brett Holmes was in it for a race, maybe. Joey Logano's been in it. Logano's given it its best rides uh, so far this season. Josh Berry has been in it as well. So hopefully for 2025, that number 15 team can take another step up in terms of performance. Harrison Burton, of course, is a NASCAR Xfinity Series race winner four times over for Joe Gibbs Racing uh, in one season. He came back the next year and didn't really have that good of a season compared to the season prior, then moved up to the Cup Series. And since then, it's been a struggle for him. He's now in his third full-time NASCAR Cup series season with the wood brothers and just felt like he could never get his feet underneath himself and part of it of course is the wood brothers being a smaller team that car is of course prepped out of the penske shop but it felt like harrison just could never get to where he needed to be never really seemed like he got comfortable in that car had some randomly good runs every now and then he had a top five finish at the indianapolis road course uh he of course got the win at daytona but it felt like you know every time that he maybe had a good run going something would happen or he was just always kind of flirting around the back half of the field there in the late 20s early 30s um of the running order so maybe going back down to the extended series regaining some of that confidence running better contending for wins maybe contending for a championship we'll have to wait and see might be the best thing for him going forward and we've seen guys take that step back and then be able to get promoted again cole custer john hunter Nemechek, to name a few so it might be worth it in that sense so harrison burton head to the number 15 car at am racing in the xfinity series in 2025 let me know in the comments what you think about justin haley taking the seven the seat swap harrison burton headed over to the 15 car in the xfinity series like and subscribe to the channel follow me on tiktok at break hard instagram twitter and facebook at break hard blog